Cheat. No, it's, no. You got, you cheats. Got it. That's good. No, you do it. Cheat. Cheat. For cheat. That's so good when you do it. But that's a um, violent song. I can't yes. imagine. Have you ever done that? Have you ever like taken a baseball bat to somebody's? No, oh, I'm. I mean, I'm. I'm not like that at all. I'd never do anything like that. You don't seem like you would. That's no. why I was just saying. Anyway, we should eat because the show starts soon. Oh. I said dressing on the side. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm. I'm gonna go see if I can find some dressing on the side. Okay. <clears throat> all right. I said dressing on the side. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. You look beautiful. And I cannot believe it's been four years since you won American Idol, and all this has happened to you. You have four Grammy Awards, five American Music Awards, five People's Choice Awards, eight Academy of Country Music Awards, five Country Music Awards, 14 Billboard Music Awards. <laughs> You were in school yeah. before that. Because mm -hmm. I was just talking to you when you finished uh, singing just now. I, it is so, I'm just curious to see if I'm going to be able to spot that talent in those audition tapes. Uh, because right now I'm looking at tapes for Hollywood Week. And it's so hard in that environment to, to see that. How did you feel, feel you did in that room? Um, looking back now, I think I look absolutely horrified, and I stood there like this the whole time, and like didn't move. So you didn't move have that didn't... stage presence. No, and that was something that they told me initially I needed to work on, and I think it just gets easier. I mean, I think even throughout the show, I go back and look at stuff now, and they have like Idol Rewind on TV, and um, I just feel like I'm a completely different person. And you seem happier. You have a, a, a boyfriend now that you're very happy with. Yeah. For how long now? Um, close to a year mm -hmm. now. So that's and the longest relationship I've had. I have Mike Fisher. <laughs> I, I joke and say my dogs, the, the man I've had the longest relationship with uh -huh. um, ever. So yeah. <laughs> but now he's the longest man. Yes. Yes. For, for and a long time. Yeah. More than the dogs. And uh, he's he's good looking. He's really good looking. Yes, he is. But now that's a really yeah. rough sport. Uh, a lot of them don't have their own teeth. Yes. Well. <laughs> That's actually one of the first questions, because we had uh, a friend, um, one of my band members actually, was trying to like hook us up. And um, he's like, I got this guy for you. And I'm like, oh, that's great. Uh, um, uh, what's he do? Mm -hmm. He plays hockey. Um, <laughs> does he have his own teeth? Nobody's got a good dentist. Uh, <laughs> um, where does he live? Canada. <laughs> so I love Canada, but I mean, a long, that's a long that's, distance And relationship. you're touring all the time, and yeah. yeah, that's really hard. But you get to see each other a lot. We, we see each other more than people think we see each other. Like, we don't go out, we don't, like, publicly do You just hang out thing. at home yeah, and stuff so like that. We, we do get to see each other quite right. a bit. Now, I heard that you're moving in together. That's, no. that's probably not right. No, I don't. I, I'm call me old-fashioned. I just, I don't know. He's, he's there, I'm here, we're both doing our thing, and... Um, it's it's good. Next guy I move in with will be my my hubby. Well, maybe whoever that is. Maybe Not he'll be. That it's gonna be him. Well, it sounds like it will. <laughs> I. Do you want to marry him? Let's just I, talk about it now. <laughs> and how many babies do you want? Let's talk about. Well. Let's just plan um, your life right now. We're all why here. Why not? You got yeah. a calendar? Mm -hmm. We can just start I can. filling in dates. Um, but well, you've been <laughs> with him for a year, so it, yeah. it seems like you'll marry him and have babies yep. then. <laughs> Apparently, I don't know. All right. And is your dad? He, your dad must be uh, a, a tough dad to to get by to date you, right? Yes, he is. He um, he doesn't like anyone mm -hmm. um, at all. Well, then that would be really hard. Yeah. Well, yeah. like my, when I was 16, I couldn't date till I was 16, and he was like, I want to meet every single guy that you go out with. He has to come in and meet me. And he's my dad. He's just he doesn't say much. He's scary without meaning to be. Like if you know him, he's he's you know he's dad. But um, to outsiders, he would be scary. Well, between your dad and then uh, you're, you're capable of writing songs that could get anybody back that hurts you. I mean, you could just write a song and then everybody knows about it. Yeah, well, people are always asking, like, Cowboy Casanova, who's that about? They try to make it about, like, one specific guy in particular. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, I, I sing country music and cowboy is a part of my vocabulary. So I'm not aiming that at any specific football team or guy or anything. <laughs> uh, I sing country music. Uh -huh. we, we sing about cowboys. But Cowboy Casanova is like about, you know, 
a type of guy, not about one guy in I, particular. But, but probably a cowboy. I mean, it, it's not just, well, I mean. I, mean like, I, I think of like cowboy as being like quiet and strong and like, you know, rugged and good looking, um, kind of an inner confidence kind of thing, not necessarily just boots and hats. And okay, all right. Spurs. So we cleared it up. Um, now, and you, and you hosted a variety special recently that's gonna air yeah. in December, right? Yeah, yeah, I was um, a approached and asked if I'd like to do it. Sounded like a good idea to me, mm -hmm. so had a lot of friends come on. Holly Parton and Brad Paisley and David Cook, to name a few. Wow. And um, had a lot of fun. And that's going to be December 7th? Yes, on, on Fox. On Fox. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Well, you're busy. A little bit. You're real busy.